extra deck and today we are going to be playing scrap mechanics so my last save is corrupted it is something that is happening uh, or known about within this game and so we need to start over so I decided that I was going to go ahead and create something that um, you may have seen in my last video as our first vehicle here and that is a motorcycle uh, that is able to turn using a known glitch so I'm gonna go ahead and get my blocks uh, pulled out for that uh, I'm going to use these small I-beams the I-beam curve I'm going to need several of these. I'll go ahead and put those at the end. We'll need that. Small suspension. Oh, small suspension. Oh boy. Large suspension. Still need these. Um, and I think, and motors. Let's go ahead and get those on our bar. So the first thing we want to do is set up the base of where the motors are going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and just go four across. Actually, um, I'll go ahead and just run this off right away. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put our motors. Actually, you know, this is going to be the top. I'll I'll make the top first. Uh, this is where we're actually going to put our seat. That way, our seat is taken care of, and we can move on. So we want to bring the seat back one more. There we go. Go ahead and put some of these. And then we'll leave this gap open for right now. And I'll go ahead and get my front steering set up. Or not, not my steering so much. But how... Um, where my front wheel is going to be connected. So we'll go ahead and put this here. On both sides. Go ahead and raise it up. Actually, I'm not going to put these rounded pieces. I don't think they look good for for that. There we go. I'll go ahead and put long suspension. Come on up. And we'll go ahead and put a long... One of these actually I want to go the other way to match what's going on up there that way if you look at it it is matching there and then we'll go ahead and curve inward on both of these put another bearing and that's where our first wheel is going to go. So the next thing is putting in where we're going to actually have the motors. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let this drop down. And if it just stays right where it's at, that would be perfect. And it did. So that's great. So the next thing we're going to do is come around down here. And we're going two down, I believe. Is it two down? Maybe it's three down. There we go. Again, we'll come across. It's 
doesn't look correct. Let's go ahead and bring this back down to here. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I had these going like this. Then up. And then, or was it one more set? And then from here, we went ahead and went around. Uh, I know, I just saw it right there. Okay, and we can go ahead and duck down here. And I think that will be perfect because uh, the lift should now be able to connect to that. So let's go ahead and put it back on the lift. Yeah, so that's where it's going to connect, and that's perfect. So now then, we're going to go ahead and make this oh, wrong way. Four wide. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put our first engine in, which will be right there. Then right behind it, we'll go ahead and put a second engine in. Oh. Here we go. Second engine. And that's perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and bring... this out go there this one will go there and it'll just make it look really nice and slick covering up the engine and then from here we have these pieces They come out this way and these will intersect with these pieces down here so uh, let's see go ahead and put these here and we just need it to be out far enough I think about right there will be perfect for the wheels. So we'll go all the way back. There's that. Then this one and then we'll we'll worry about that one in a moment. So we'll do the same thing over here. And then I believe, like I said before, we'll go out one here. This one will go ahead and take it all the way Is that it? Yep. I always do that. There we go. And then um, we'll go ahead and finish this up right here. I believe it was that. And just 
making sure. Yep. It's hard to tell <laughs> whenever you have it. Um, there's that. And that. So now pretty much the whole engine area is complete. Um, I will get back in there later so that I can complete that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and finish up this portion down here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put a bearing right here. And even though this one doesn't matter, we'll put one right there just so that we know we have a bearing back there. All right. So now we need to be able to turn left and right. Okay. I have no clue what's going on there. Let's go ahead and get under this. There we go. All right. So the next thing I need to do is, I like I said, I need to do the steering section. Now, the steering section it was attached to a bottom portion that goes across right here. And we'll finish that out, making it look nice. Uh, because we still have a few <laughs> more things that we need to put in. So we put a bearing right here and here. We put a piece like that right there and there. Now we need to go ahead and bring this down. I think I'm stuck, which I am. So go ahead and bring it back up. Get out of there. And then bring it back down. Alright, and we'll get back on here. So we're using the small um, suspension. There we go. And then we're going to put one of these going that way. Oh, I just had it. And one going that way. <clears throat> and what this will do is it allow it to turn left and right without you having to, um, you know, without you having to have a wheel, a wheel that turns on the front. Um, because while the, uh, the wheel on the front of a motorcycle is able to turn, it's the way you lean, which is how you actually control the vehicle. So now that we have that there... We need to go ahead and put a box right there. Right here. And right here. So we need three boxes. Uh, if you really want to make them look cool, I guess. I'm trying to see which way the battery is. No, that's not the... There we go. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh, well. Of course, that one's going to work correctly. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, now we have that set up. So, how this works... I'm trying to figure out where I want to put buttons. Um, Alright, so let's do this. And we're going to go ahead and get our hammer out. Let's see, what am I not going to use anymore? Big suspension. So we'll go ahead and get our hammer out. Come on. Fall over. I know the suspension is good, but, um, all right, 
So now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out there and there. How many buttons do I need? I think that will be perfect right there. Alright, so I need to go ahead and get buttons out. I need both styles. Now I'll show you I'll show you that this will work using the steering wheel with um, in a second. But you need two buttons. And you need one switch. Now the switch, um, let's go ahead and make this bottom one. Go to the switch because it's easy. Still making sure that I'm going to the bottom one. And all this bottom one does is go out 45 degrees. And you just need to make sure that both of them are blue. And you can go ahead and just flip that switch. You'll see it, it goes out. Now, I'm looking at it. And this, by the way, this is the wheel that we're going to be using. We're going to use this style wheel. Uh, which I have to attach to that bearing. I hope I got it. I hope I got it um, there. And so if we put this back up here. Whoa. Why are you moving? Why are you rolling? What's going on? Why are you doing that? What's something's wrong? Okay, it's not happy. Let's take that off. What? Okay, I think I know the issue. Okay, so we're going to need to remake these. Make sure I'm removing the right thing. Just have to come out one more. Go ahead and get rid of these. That one, that one, I'm going to go ahead and come down one, I know I have it right, there we go, come down, you know, say you're not going to use something, and then you use it, alright, so, Big suspension. Put one on each of these. Bearing, bearing, and we'll go ahead and put the wheel on that one. There we go. Then, uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and put this to that, this to that, put this to that. 
and that. This one to that. This one to that. Now we need to make sure these are going correctly. This goes to this one. This one goes to that. That goes there. All right. So the reason that I'm having these one and two is because one and two is where, how you're going to steer. Uh, three is how you're going to um, move the wheels uh, into the correct position. So we need to go ahead and change that. Put this at 45 degrees again. 45 degrees. Now then, if I did everything correctly, I should be able to get on here. All right, and that goes to 45 degrees. I may actually go with something that's not that drastic, but uh, we'll see once we get to that point. So let's go ahead and put it back on the lift. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to program um, the degree at which we want um, our, t our steering to go. So let's go ahead and go to the second one here. Now hold down shift. And we're going to go to 10. And that's it. Go to this one. Now you can go to the very first one, which is 15, and then shift to go backwards to 10. Either way will work. Now then, to see if this works, we'll go ahead and get on this. Press three. All right, and now we're able to turn left and right. All right, so let's go ahead and get off. Put this back on the lift. And now we just need to finish everything up. I feel that the, this wheel needs to be lower. Um, or it just needs to not go out as far as it is. So, um, I think I have everything connected the way I want it there. I do want to go probably and put another button here. Um, that means that I'd need to put another controller in, which I need. Where would I put that controller? Hmm. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll have to put it in. Um, okay, I, I, I got an idea. This is our 45 degree. Let's go ahead and put one of these here. One, was it here? Just making sure. Yep. We're gonna put that there. Not that. Alright, so what we're doing is we're making a cake stand. And what I'm trying to figure out the best way to make it work. Um, without putting another box in. So I guess I could put it in this box here. 
and have it, the kickstand come out whenever I bring the wheels up. But the point of having the kickstand is that it pulls the back wheels off the ground. So... I feel I'm going to have to put another control box in. Um, I guess I could put it here. Um, let's see. Bearings I don't need to put any more on. Control box. Put it here. Because once I'm done... I'm going to be covering all of these as best as I can. So, this one is the one that goes to this and that. That also goes to this and this goes up to there. These are, okay, that one's correct. That one is now correct. So if it looks very complicated right now, don't worry about it. It's going to be less complicated. Um, well, hopefully it will be less complicated. Please let me know if um, I did a horrible job at explaining this. Um, maybe not so many. Trying to think, is that? I think that's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, three is fine. Let's come over here. One, two, three. Here we go. And then we can go ahead and put this wheel in now. Or not? Why is it not going? Okay, maybe I can't have two bearings in there. Alright, so now we have... This goes to there. This comes to here. All right, so three, four, you know, you got to program it. <laughs> so that's going to come out 45 degrees also. You'll see it's pretty stable. I mean, it's staying up pretty darn well. And um, you can see that the back wheel is now off the ground. So now I need to put a little bit of power in this and we should be able to go. I'll go ahead and get these. Let's see what kind of block am I going to be taking out. All right, I think I only need this block. Let's see, can I control this? I'll go up to where we have three left. And then here, I'll go ahead and just remove that. Until we have three left. And there we go. There's our motorcycle. So let's go ahead and get on it. Let that down. We're gonna press forward. Ah. <laughs> Gotta always check this. I always forget. Make sure that your wheels are all going in the same direction. And uh, let's try that again. Went straight for that tree. But that's okay. And here's your motorcycle. I go for trees. I hit trees almost daily. 
<laughs> of this thing. And when you want to go ahead and relax or stop, all you have to do is put down number four and it'll stop your vehicle for you. And just go ahead and uh, here's your turning to get off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know. By the way, let's go ahead and just fill these in. Make sure that everything looks nice. I'll go ahead and go there. One, two, one. Then we're going to go ahead and close this in. Or at least, oh, come on. <laughs> now we need that curve. I don't know why I do that. I do it all the time. There we go. Not that. There we go. And then just finish it off. And if you really feel like it, you can go ahead and cover that up too. And there it is, nice and streamlined. You can actually detach this and extend it a little bit more and you can have two seats on there for uh, whoever you want to have ride with you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.